just got to keep control of the car and see how it works out. The Mountain won. Nathan driving, Brandy the co-driver. Conditions very dry, making driving treacherous at the hill climb. Two days before the accident, Nathan's assessment of the course. Traction is going to be totally different, uh, so we're just going to know when that's going to be a little looser. The father and son team in the race car behind the Connollys knew that too. 45 minutes of worry, waiting in their car to race and learn what happened to their friends. They're just a, a young, amazing couple. They love each other. They are uh, awesome friends. Uh, they're loving to anybody that they come in contact with. To me, at my age, they're almost like my kids. Um, we've We've known them for years, and they're outstanding competitors. One of the first to reach Nathan and Brandy after the crash, the race director, who's also a longtime paramedic. As we shut the doors, they were holding hands. It's one of those things that tugs at your heartstring. You just, you know they're okay when they can do that. Nathan's recovery time is about 10 to 12 weeks. He's in a back brace. Both have similar bone breaks in their back. He didn't need surgery. His wife, Brandy, did. Her situation much more complicated. The x rays highlight her problem. Dr. Douglas Wong explains it. What Brandy ended up doing is crushing this vertebrae and pushing a bone, a fragment of bone, back into her spinal canal, which you could see right back here. Causing paralysis in her legs. Surgery had to be done fast to get that bone fragment out. It's kind of like having three building blocks in a row. You've removed the middle building block. You have to put something in its place. In its place, an expandable metal cage, and then locking everything in place with a titanium plate. She's already shown signs of recovery in the fact that she has motion in her legs, she has good strength. Dr. Wong tells me if Brandy's strength continues to improve in the next few days and weeks, it's a very good sign she will walk again. As far as driving strength, it'll take about a year to really determine that. Eric Singer, News Channel 13. sitting in my in my race car with my husband and just doing what we love and I think that we'll get there a hospital room overflowing with hope I've got you know full range of motion in my feet both legs up and down Brandy's husband Nathan has technically been discharged from the hospital however he's not leaving his wife's side you know the first uh, 24 hours were the scariest uh, hours of my life but now seeing the progress that she's been getting is, you know, this, and seeing her spirits just really makes it, you know, a lot easier right now to see in her progression. From the peak to here at St. Anthony Central, it's been a long road, and that road to recovery is helped by friends and family and fans. Keep praying for us. You know, Brandy uh, will be fine, and hopefully next year we'll be up racing somewhere, being sideways again. <laughs> We've always kind of had the philosophy that if we can make it in the race car, you know, if we can communicate and get through the stressful situations in our race car, anything outside of there is going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> Eric Singer, News Channel 13. How you guys doing? Good to see you. Things are going all right? Yeah. Decision day. Is Brandy's back healed enough to lose the brace? Nathan with back injuries too, but not as severe. Memories of that moment at the hill climb from the hospital. The first uh, 24 hours were the scariest uh, hours of my life, but now seeing the progress that she's been getting is... You know, this, and seeing her spirits just really makes it, you know, a lot easier right now to see in her progression. Now, learning their future, at the least, walking without pain, at the most, racing. I really feel like we had angels or something watching over us while we were up there on Pikes Peak. I shouldn't have healed as fast as I did, and everything could have very easily turned out to be so much worse. The new x-rays tell the story of that months old injury and repair. A bone fragment in her back removed during a delicate eight hour surgery. So in its place uh, we have put an expandable cage and a plate to lock this in place. It worked. That looks good. Kind of bones kind of laying in around here. Ready? Bye bye brace. 
long walks with their dog, Ezra. <laughs> and maybe back on the mountain, Team Conley. Big hill climb? Um, you know, that's definitely an option. It would be something that Nate and I would have to talk about if we feel like we want to race it again. If you had one word to describe your experience, what would that be? Um, I'd have to say grateful. Just absolute excitement. I am so excited to be able to put the last three months behind me. And now move on to their next racing adventure. Well, there's a new chapter in a love story on and off the Pikes Peak Hill Climb. We've been following two of the racers who were severely hurt in last year's race. Here's a story you'll only see here at the Channel 13. Team Conley, the next chapter. I just can't believe we haven't come back since, <laughs> since it all happened. And I still can't believe it's been a year. On the hill where it happened. Definitely have the goosebumps now. <laughs> The crash. Yeah, that's by the tree we uprooted. Yeah, this has to be it. I just felt like my back was on fire and I couldn't move my feet. Brandy's injuries, the most serious. A bone fragment in her back removed during a delicate eight hour surgery. In its place, uh, we have put an expandable cage and a plate to lock this in place. That looks good. Kind of bones kind of laying in around here. Medically, she's okay to race the peak this year, and Nate was excited too, except... All things happen for a reason, and now with us having a, a little one coming... I Brandy's pregnant, due in November with a baby boy. And these drivers having a little rider, that's his name. Walking here now, after being rushed by ambulance from this trauma of nearly a year ago. Going full circle for this Pikes Peak Hill Climb couple, from nightmare to happy ending. Next year's hill climb could be in the cards for Team Conley. There's no anger from them about their pain on the peak the past year. It's got some of the best memories of my life and some of the worst memories of my life. It's a cool race and it can, it can bite you, but it can also be fantastic. Just a bump in the road and we'll definitely be back full force and hopefully better than we were before. We're really excited. Plus one. Yeah, plus one. <laughs> Eric Singer, News Channel 13. Good for them. And Nate's already been in the driving saddle. He won a race in Buena Vista at the end of June. The couple could be doing a reality show on the internet in the near future.